and the name of the movie is missing. And what happened was um, several years ago, some children in Chicago, where I'm originally from the Chicagoland area, was, were abducted and they never found them, two little girls. And then a um, young lady who was working for one of the congressmen, I believe, Sandra uh, Levy, I think her name was, some years ago, she was abducted. So one evening I was watching the news and saw news reports of the, the, the two cases. And what I saw was the parents on the uh, screen, you can just feel their hurt. You can just see what they were going through. And unfortunately, it was a tragic situation, but on the creative side, I thought, wow, that would be interesting, or that would be an interesting dynamic to show the behind the closed doors of what they must be going through. And so it led me to write the script from that place. I think the biggest thing, me right now as a filmmaker, it's a short film, is to, you know, get me some credible work and show the, the, the craft that I've developed from taking classes, watching movies, doing research, studying, and things like that. There is a lot of pain in, in uh, making a film, and there's a lot of love. So it, it works both ways. And I think the love for the, the, film, the idea and the vision that comes to you through the idea is what drives you to do the film and endure whatever obstacles stands in your way. I think sometimes the difficult part as an independent filmmaker without the, you know, the Hollywood budgets and things like that, without the notoriety, without the names yet, um, is to get other people on board with the same passion. With you, you have to become a business person and you have to learn how to uh, entice, if you will, uh, finagle, if you will, to, to persuade others to share the sentiments that you have for the piece. But I've also found that if the piece is good enough, if the idea is good enough, the script is good enough, the story is good enough, if it's strong enough, you can get people on board to work with you, you know. And once you get it and you really feel that energy, you really feel that uh, story, and you see it, is like they say, you can't, there's no stopping it. it ha you have to let it come forth or else it would probably kill you. To, you know, you would be miserable not to, so. And so, and, and all of the people who are associated with the film festival that I've spoken to, they, they really love film, they respect filmmakers, and they have taken a personal interest, if you will, on your piece. I mean, and you don't get that 20 minute conversation at other film festivals from people who put the film festival together. So that, that's been fun, that's been really nice and special. And like, you know, uh, Regina was mentioning to me, who's one of the, 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 the directors of the festival, she said, we know what it takes to get your movie done, because they share the same spirit. And she said, so we're happy that you're here, and we're, they feel honored that we're here but I feel honored that I'm here. So it's a good synergy, you know? So I would definitely uh, recommend this film festival to other filmmakers and just go for it. You never know what may happen. You have to jump off the ledge and take a chance, you know?